<laughs> oh! Hi friends, welcome to this week's class of Dead Funny University. I am your host and fellow student Kelsey, and today we are talking about new mutants. And again, as always at this point, we will eventually get other people in here, I promise guys. Our teacher today is Chris. Chris, how are you doing? How excited are you to talk about new mutants? Um, I'm doing alright. Uh, as far as excited to talk about new mutants, I mean, I, I'm more excited for the movie than anything else due to the fact that this is going to be Marvel's, or I'm sorry, Disney's first stab at a horror flick, so I'm kind of excited for that. For sure. Well, I think Disney kind of accidentally did horror pretty well, you know, years and years ago. I'm sure you've seen like some of the older cartoons where it's like, this is dark, this is very dark, this is morbid, what is this, how is this okay? And it was just, it was a different time and different people. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know. Oh. We'll see <laughs> that was Chris for I totally fucking disagree with you. All right, Chris. <laughs> Everybody has different levels of scary. That's that's what I'll say. And mine and yours true. Really that's good. true. You enjoy it. Your I grandmother, who genuinely scary. sounds like a lovely human being, like that's a little morbid. <sighs> if you don't know the story of Chris's grandmother and it, go watch our old stuff because it's somewhere. It's somewhere in there. It was actually not it. It was Freddy Krueger, but it is my. Didn't favorite. she also start the it no, stuff as well? No, that was my mom. That was your mother. That was El Madre that had oh. me watching the Stephen King stuff because she read his books. Grandma Gosh. was Freddy Krueger. Yep. Yep. Man. I know, right? Well, never met either of these women. Want to, but definitely when I do, I will be asking them why they did this to you. <laughs> My grandma will tell you this simply. Oh, he's not scared of anything now, is he? <laughs> Tough love. Yeah, all right. I mean, she's right. Yes, I can but... literally sit down and watch a scary movie with a straight face on. So, I mean, fear is useful. It, it is a useful function. It has uses. It has been beaten out of me. So. All right, well. Uh, but as far as... Uh, our little thing here, I think it would be a lot more beneficial, something me and Kel Kelsey talked about off, off camera, for us to do a little bit of a shorter quiz at the end so we can spend more time talking about the characters because as much as I want to dive into New Mutants as a whole, a lot of it's really not going to pertain to the movie. It's really going to follow five key characters because it's more of a set up for if they choose to do anything else, do anything else in New Mutants, which that I have no idea if that's actually going to happen or not. No fucking clue. So, yeah, that's where we're at on that. So, we are going to be jumping in and talking about these characters primarily. Yeah. We'll do a little Jump bit. in, Chris. Do a little Jump bit of in. Comic start first. teaching us. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. So, comics first. Fine. Comics always start off with, uh, you know, our first issue coming out in September 1982. The New Mutants creators were Chris Claremont and Bob McLe... I don't know how to say his name, last name, McLeod. McLeod. Anyways, they're the creators of the New Mutants. Um, one of the cool things that I like about the New Mutants, personally, myself, was that it was kind of like a group of teenagers who were coming together learning to try to understand what their powers are and how they actually fit in and shit like that because it wasn't for a little while until they actually start getting like their trainers, which their trainers being uh, Magneto, Professor S... Professor S, Professor X, I can't talk, and Cable. Um, most of you should know all three of these, whether you're just moviegoers or comic book fans, because they have been in multiple movies now. Uh, except for Cable's, or, or no, Cable's, yeah, no, Cable's only been in Deadpool 2. Cable hasn't been in an actual X-Men movie, has he? I don't think so. No. No, I don't remember seeing Cable. Anyways, so, Cable. You haven't seen the X-Men movies? Um... I think I've seen one of them. Good yeah. Anyways, there's a lot. <laughs> there's X Men one through three, and there's like all the off ones, like Days of Future Past and First Class. I think that's the only one I've seen. Days of Future Past. Uh huh. You probably watched like one of the worst ones. So there's that. I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh man, yeah. It was literally them going, "Okay, let's retcon everything." 
here's this movie. Mm. So that way we can we can go back in time and, and, and do shit with Jean Grey because we killed her off extremely fast and noticed that there's a lot more to explore with this character that we can do. <laughs> and then out came the trash known as Dark Phoenix. But anyways, that's another day. That was mean. <laughs> it was a terrible movie. Didn't see it either. So, good, good. Um, New Mutants. Obviously, this will always have a special place in my heart because that's where Deadpool was introduced. New Mutants number 98. Haha. John Buck, I got signed by Stanley and Rob Liefeld. But um, Deadpool doesn't really play too much of a role in the actual New Mutants. Um, he basically showed up there to kill Cable for, for contract, and Deadpool basically left with his ass handed to him. Um, Ooh. Yeah, no, he did not do a good job. But. Uh, Moving on, so like I said, their trainers, Professor X, Magneto, Cable, you know, they all take turns. It depends on what day of the month it is, Be- or I'm sorry, what day of the week it is, because like if it's like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it's Cable. If it's Thursday, it's Professor X, and then it can only be Tuesday for Magneto, because Tuesdays is the days whenever he chooses to be an X-Men versus just being a villain. No, you don't get that. Are you shitting me? I'm I'm literally shitting you right now, yes. Yeah, no, I could guess. What? It's it's a joke that goes back and forth because of how many times Magneto's an X Men, then he's a villain, then he's an X Men, then he's a villain. It's all like I think Deadpool actually even makes that joke in one of his comics. He's all like, Hold on shit, what is today? Tuesday? Fuck. I don't think Magneto's a villain today. Everybody, what just happened was Chris tried to bank on my knowledge of this, going, yeah, you're going to get this joke, and forgot he's literally teaching me this. I don't know Magneto goes back and forth. Oh, God. I'm so down with you already. I'm so down with you already. You, you signed up for this show. Don't give me your shit. That's it. I'm taking, like, a five-month break from DFU. That, that would be me? very bad. <laughs> <laughs> DFU will be back in five months, everybody. We'll be back in five months. <laughs> Uh, anyways, but the founding member of the New Mutants is a guy named Cannonball, which we are going to be seeing in the movie. Cannonball is played, because I know you know the show, Cannonball is played by the kid from Stranger Things. The one that is, uh, the one that goes into Upside Down, his brother. Will. Will? Okay. Will's Will's brother. Will's Will's older brother. Yes. Will's older brother is going to be the one that's in love with Nancy. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot remember his name. And didn't he get like addicted to crack or some shit? No. What the hell? Are you talking about the actor or the character? The actor. Oh, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure the actor got addicted to cocaine. I'm almost 100% sure on that. Yeah. yeah, You, you, you fact check that. Anyways. So, um, yeah, he's going (laughs) to, he's going to be there. Jonathan is his name. Uh Uh-huh. And he's got a picture on his fucking page with like a white nose, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm almost a hundred percent. I thought you were looking that up. No, I was trying what to remember the name? character's name. What is his name? I don't name? care. You don't care? Charlie Heaton is his name. Charlie Heaton cocaine. I'm so glad the viewers are watching us Google this right now. I'm sure this is. I super need to know this. I'm sure he got addicted to shit. Yeah, Charlie Heaton opens up about cocaine possession. He was charged with drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Due to possession of trace amounts of cocaine. All right. He's not, he was not arrested or charged with a crime. Mm. That's what he said, but mm. who's, who knows? This is not relevant. Mm. Moving on. I don't know. A fucking middle of the movie, fucking cannibal starts doing some fucking cocaine. We'll fucking, there, there, there's a connection right there. Yeah, obviously. That's definitely what they would do. But no, uh, I'm super pumped for this movie. I'm actually excited to see kind of like, like I said, a a, a horror movie from Disney. I want to see what Disney's got, you know? Like, like, let's pull out all the stops. And it's a Marvel Disney movie. Or horror movie. A Marvel horror movie at that. That's that's even better. It's even better. But we also got some other people to shout out, too, on this as well. Fucking Macy Williams. Yeah. Like, let's fucking go. She is going to be playing Wolfsbane, which I'm pretty pumped about. So there's that. You did just stop in the middle of telling me about Cannonball to get excited about the movie again. You want to go back to telling me about Cannonball? Mm. Cannonball, that guy. Like I said, he is the leader of the New Mutants, or the, the founder of the New Mutants. Um, basically, he can propel himself into the air and apparently is invulnerable. 
while while using his uh, uh, magic, he's invulnerable. So he literally is just like um, I shoot myself around. Um. Yeah, jet propulsion and then create creation of a protective blast field while in flight is exactly what it's called in the comics. Okay. So yes, that is that is our uh, our good old friend Cannonball. All right. And you mentioned Wolfsbane, played yes. by Maisie Williams, yeah. which I'm super excited to see. So, yeah. tell me about Wolfsbane. So, she has the ability to shapeshift into a wolf-like humanoid. Um, or, uh, I believe she can go full wolf. Yeah, I'm pretty... Mm. <clears throat> yes, she can go full wolf at will. Yep. So, her whole power is basically lichen. <clears throat> which is pretty dope. Guys, I just got the hiccups. I'm gonna try really hard not to hiccup into the microphone. God. <laughs> Damn it, Kelsey! <laughs> Be professional. I am Shit. doing my best. Shit! Oh no! <laughs> so tell me about who else? We've got Cannonball. We've got Wolfsbane. Who else do we have? Well, we also have Magic, which Magic is super cool. Magic is known for having the ability to just constantly hiccup. It's pretty nuts. Haha, <laughs> got her. Anyways, she's kind of crazy, so I had to make sure I had her list pulled up. She has interdimensional teleportation, magic manipulation, she wears mystic armor, and use of soul swords. Yeah, she is, uh... I'm sorry, we need to break all of those things down. Mm -hmm. Magic manipulation? Magic manipulation. What what the heck is that? Because isn't the whole point of the X Men universe like, that like mutants are kind of science based? Uh, well, I guess you could say science based because it'd be biological, but it doesn't yeah. mean that that magic doesn't still exist. Magic still exists, but just there's just people that have powers. She's their magic is still a thing in okay. the Marvel universe. Okay. Yeah. Out so of she... all this outlandish shit in Marvel, the one thing you think that they're going to be like, it's magic. That's just too fucking far-fetched. We can't have that. No way. We can't have that in here. They do seem to try to like tie things back to consistent rules and things like that, and I appreciate that behavior. And so when you just have magic that we can't describe or go look into at all, it, it seems unsatisfying. It seems too easy and too simple. Hmm. So what do I think? Did you watch... Infinity War? Yes. Wait, no, did you watch Endgame? Is that, is that, that, that's something you, which is the one where they time traveled? That was Endgame, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did you not notice how, like, they made the specific rules for how time travel actually works and then immediately broke those rules? Like, yes, no, time? I did notice okay. that. I was very entertained by that. <laughs> like, Love immediately that immediately broke them. Love that movie. It was Such a good, a good movie. It was a good movie. Yeah, there's not a fair about it. But anyways, um, yeah. So what the hell is a soul sword? So like being able to make swords out of like souls and shit, like actual like this is actually something that's kind of funny because me and you were literally just talking about this uh, the other day. But um, in Don't Starve Together, whenever you go crazy, you can like harvest souls and shit from like like actual shadow monsters that come to fight you. It's called nightmare fuel, and you can turn that into like weapons and shit too. So this is like the only person that's ever done that. But I do have a full explanation right here is what it says. The Soul Sword was created by Ileana Rasputin. Who's that? Who's Ileana Rasputin? I forgot. I'm sorry. I don't know. You might not know this, but I feel like we maybe have talked about this at some point. Ileana Rasputin's oh. brother is Peter Rasputin. I think his name's Peter. I don't know. Maybe his name's not Peter. I don't know. Anyways, it's Colossus' his sister, Kitty Pratt. She is the one that ah. died by the leg legendary T virus, which is basically like AIDS for yes. super mutants. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyways, during her imprisonment in limbo. So it was created by her while she was in limbo. Ileana magically caused her own life force energy to manifest before her. Once this happened, she cast her hand into a pool of eldritch energy and imagined a weapon in her mind. When she withdrew her hand, she was holding the soul sword created from her her own soul. A simple looking blade upon its origin, it develops intricate designs and forms upon itself. The more Ileana uses it, becoming more powerful with each use. 
That's huh. the soul sword. Okay, I hope it doesn't chip. Now, cause... magic soul sword disrupts magical energies, con- constructs, and creatures. It also augments the power of level of any magic user who holds it. The soul generally has no physical effect, but disrupts even the most powerful magic as it passes through. Since Ileana's resurrection, the soul sword seems to affect physical beings like the Legion's personalities. A whole bunch of shit you don't care about. <laughs> right, it doesn't really mean anything to you. No. But yeah. Okay. So that's so, soul sword. Got it. Sort of. Yeah, so she's soul sword, eldritch armor sorcery and teleportation so basically she's just a magic user which is why her name is magic with a k magic ah thank you yep yep i had to let you know that and magic is being played by anna anya taylor joy is that somebody i'm going to recognize oh the no oh hell yes that's somebody i recognize yes 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 okay well i'm glad you do because i don't so she's amazing Okay, I'll take your role for it. She was um, she was the girl in Split. Did you ever go see Split? Oh, she was, wasn't she? Yes, yeah. she was. Split was the shit. Yeah, yeah. she did was I good in it. Go see Split. We did a fucking goddamn study group, and I told you, I told you to watch Split, didn't I? Yeah. No, I watched. Uh, no, uh, uh-uh. uh, okay. nah. I remember for sure telling Don't you that, that shit. Split was my favorite for sure. Is is the best out of the three because I finally got around to seeing Glass. It was the best out of the three. Yeah, Split was the best, easily. Um, yeah. How he didn't get an award for that is beyond me, but whatever. For fucking for true? Fucking facts? Anyways, but yeah, so that's who's going to be playing Magic. Um, we also have... Um, uh, God damn it. Oh, I gotta pull my fucking list up because I forgot her name. Cilicia... Cecilia Reyes? Yeah, I think that's who she is. I don't know. I don't remember this fucking person from the comics, but apparently she was kind of like a mentor for the New Mutants. She's going to be in there, and she is being played by Alice Braga. I don't know who she is either. Uh... Alice Braga, you said? Mm -hmm. Braga. B-R-A-G-A. Oh, well, I know who she is. Yeah, she was in. She was also in Elysium. Yeah, I've seen her in a couple things. I've never watched that. She's. Huh. If I remember correctly, yeah, she's pretty good. It'll be cool to see her. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, and you said she's playing who? She's playing Doctor Cecilia Reyes. Uh, is a fictional character. Okay. Uh, raised in the Bronx, she's a Latin American, originating originating from Puerto Rico medical doctor specializing in trauma surgery she has the mutant ability to project a force field around her body unlike most x-men she has no interest in superheroics and desires only to live an ordinary life having been forced into the team by circumstance wait she's an md specializing in trauma surgery Mm -hmm. she is a superhero even without her superpower like She's already amazing, and then she has the ability to be on the battlefield with a force field around her, able to take care of somebody and make sure they don't get any more hurt and she doesn't get hurt helping them. Like, this is the best possible superhero. I love her. She's amazing. But yet she doesn't want to be one. So she I don't care. She people die. She chose... Bullshit. No, she does not. She lets people die. I hope you're happy. Wait, are you serious? No, you're, you're fucking with me. If she doesn't join the team, people could get hurt and die without her being there to help. And she's forced into it by circumstance, and then she stays because of the relationship she builds. I know these stories. Continue. Well, that was just rude. (laughs) There might be a formula somewhere. Who guessed? I don't want to do this anymore. (laughs) See you in five months, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. So the next one I definitely had to pull up the list for, and this is why. So, we are now at Moonstar, Danielle Moonstar, uh, also known as Mirage. She is being played by Blue Hunt, which I do not know who the fuck that is either. She was in the originals, but yeah. Anyways, B L U Hunt. Don't know who that is. <sighs> yeah. Is. Yeah. I don't recognize go. her. 
But yes, uh, Moonstar's abilities. So her. I do recognize her. She's lovely. You're going to like her a lot. Continue. Okay. So her Valkyrie abilities are superhuman strength, speed, durability, stamina, and agility. She also has a PSI link with Brightwind. Ability to sense impending death in others. Ability to repel death based on specters. Energy projection. Magic immunity. And a weapons expert. Her mutant, there was what? Her mutant PSI abilities are telepathy, danger sense, creating illusions, psionic bow and arrows, psionic bullets, psionic bows, or bolts, empathic telepathic link with animals, ability to create so- solid objects out of psionic energy, and quantum energy manipulation. Okay, better question. What can't she do? Good right. God. That's why I she's, wanted to make sure I had the list up. She's like, there, holy crap. They just, I don't even know. There isn't a comparison. I was going to start grabbing superheroes at random and like jamming them together. And I don't know them well enough to do that. But good Lord. Yeah. I, I mean, is she competent in all of these or is she only competent in the illusions? Well, I think the whole Valkyrie aspect, if I remember correctly, because this is a character I don't know that much about, um, I, I believe she doesn't always have her Valkyrie abilities. I believe like she loses them often in the comics. I could be wrong. I do know that she does lose them, at least at some point, but I could have swore it was kind of like a, it's not something she can tap into all the time. Hold on. Uh, Got when it. Mirage okay. rescued Bright when she became a Valkyrie and became endowed with the Valkyrie power to perceive and sense the coming of death. As such, Mirage could perceive a death glow surrounding a person in serious danger of dying, a dark cloud, or graphic visual image over people who were in mortal peril. She could also perceive death incarnate and even do physical battle with death itself to stave off mortality for a short time. She has created an illusionary <coughs> um, ghost staff drawing upon an image in her own mind and has successfully wielded it as a weapon against death and the Asgardian death goddess Hela. Holy crap! She initially lost these powers due to the fall of Asgard, but has since regained them after making a deal with the reborn Hela. See, I told you how she lost it. So she was a Valkyrie. Mm-hmm. And then exactly. she lost everything. And yeah. then she made a pact with Hela. Mm-hmm. Which, from what we saw, Hela wasn't a great person. She's a badass, though. Hella was a badass. Yes. Yes, you can be badass and shit. You can be both at the same time. I will agree with this. Yep. But yeah, Moonstar appears to have gained the substantial degree of superhuman strength from Hella as she was able to knock Ares off his feet. Additionally, she wields a powerful supernatural sword, able to discharge energy, bleed, sky father, class, divine... I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Incapable of slaying spiritual ent- entities and cut through curses and enchantments. So if during the movie she suddenly starts seeing funky auras around people. We'll know that she knows. We'll know die. that person is about to die. Yep. And that's why we do this. Because now you, the viewer, will know that you know that that means that that person's going to die. Mm-hmm. Yep. So and then her physical abilities are just due to her training at Xavier. Um yeah, that's, that's more of where she kind of honed those. And then her former abilities for a brief period of time. Daniel Moonstar's powers were bolstered by the Arcadia DeVille, an odd yet phenomenal way she could tap into primal mainstream of the universe and channel quantum energy through her natural mutant power. But apparently, I guess she can no longer do that because that's former ability. Hmm. Well, I former ability doesn't mean anything in their first movie like that could be something that she has for a while or she gets later that legitimately or loses mo- that's most likely the only thing she can do in the movie honestly i mean she's probably not going to be a valkyrie yet and she maybe been training with professor x yet so technically that should be the only thing she does have is quantum energy manipulation which is still really neat oh yeah do you do you need caffeine over there, Chris? Oh man, I tell you, I stayed up Maybe. late last night, but we're 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 champing this, right? I'm interested. I'm interested. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Perfect. I am ready to see Mirage. I think that's gonna be my favorite person. Mirage or Magic? I think are gonna be the main two people I'm excited to see. I mean, I'm, I'm still excited to see Wolfsbane because Macy Williams. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. 
but uh, Mirage or Magic for sure. So wait, so this is actually a group of four women and one dude? Uh, no. It looks like three women and one guy, uh, which would be the last person on our list, which is Henry Zaga. So wait a minute. One of these people... Cannonball, Wolfsbane, mm -hmm. Magic, mm -hmm. Doctor Cecilia Reyes, mm -hmm. Danielle Moonstar. No, you no, said no, there no, were no, five no, characters. No, no. Doctor Cecilia Reyes is going to be in the movie. She's not going to be one of the kids. I don't think. Ah, I okay. Think she's going to be the, the one of the doctors. Okay. I could be completely wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure she's not one of the kids. Okay, so we're missing one kid. Yeah. Who's it's our last Henry one? Henry Zaga. Henry Zaga. Oh, wait, wait. That's the, that's the, that's the actor's name. <laughs> <laughs> Chris! Damn it, Sunspot! <laughs> yeah. God. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yeah, Sunspot. Anyways, um, so yeah, Sunspot... Um, Let's see. What's, I, I don't even know what the fuck Sunspot does, honestly. It must have been somebody that I thought was very boring. Superhuman strength, flight, solar absorption, which I kind of, kind of got that from the name and rechanneling. Heat and light manipulation, which once again got that from the thing, and concussive blast with plasma emission. That's our buddy Sunspot there. It oh. sounds like a. More intentional Superman. Yeah, I could see that. Like, they intentionally went, well, they, yeah, like, we're trying to align all of this, so. Um, but, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I really cared for this character, because I don't know anything about him. But he's going to be in the movie, <laughs> so there's that. Sorry, guys, phoning this one in. <laughs> the other ones I knew about, this one I'm phoning in. I didn't care for Oh, my part. God, Chris. Well, no. I thought this character was stupid. It's good. Hey, at least you guys know I'm real about my love for comics, though. I mean, yeah. if I was on here and I was like, every comic book character is amazing, you'd be like, this dude is lying. He's got to be lying. Sunspot sucks. If he's your so favorite character and you're offended by me saying this, then pick a new favorite character because he sucks. <laughs> Actually, better yet, put in the comments why he's your favorite character. Because I would like to know, because unfortunately, my opinion on all these characters is being shaped by Chris, which means I'm getting a very one-sided view of this. So, if any of these are your favorite character, explain why. Like, feel free to get into a fight with Chris in the comments. I will watch the whole thing with glee in my heart. Such butt sucks. That's all I'm saying. Dude, I managed to like fight back my hiccups. You can you can fight back your yawns. I'm I believe trying. in you. I'm trying. I'm uh trying. -huh. Cry me a river. Me. Look, it was my first day working remote. I've been in this lazy state all day. I got work done. I got a lot of work done. But whenever you're in this comfort state all day, like, oh man, if I start doing dead funny like full time, and I got and man, it's gonna be rough. That's gonna be rough. Uh, uh, anyways, so we'll randomly have someone tase you just for your own heart health. It'll be that good. would fucking suck. <laughs> you would be so mad. <laughs> that would like slowly fall asleep on side get tased in the arm. I'd be pissed. <laughs> you would be the angriest. Oh my god. I'd be fucking livid. Be what amazing. No well. But yeah, so those are gonna be the five kids that we're gonna get. Once again, like I said, it's gonna be a horror movie. Super fucking pumped to go see it. When is the release date for this, by the way? It's coming up, right? I think it's, yeah, I think it's coming out next week. Ooh. Assuming they didn't move it due to crazy. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because you heard what Amazon's deal is right now, right? No, what's going Amazon, on with Amazon? Amazon signed a deal where they can actually stream movies that are in theaters right now. So that way people don't have to worry about missing out on movies. Don't have to go. Yeah. 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 yeah this is supposed to come out April 3rd. So well, this should be coming out the Friday that this releases. Fuck what did you me. just say? I said, well, fuck me running. That sounds very challenging and uncomfortable for have everyone. Have you really never heard of that? No. Yeah, that's like very common saying, at least down south. I don't. I was going to say... <laughs> Nope. Well, how dare you? But yeah. Down south it might be. That's where we're at. So are you ready for your quiz? You think you know enough? Uh, no. Excuse okay. me. I got questions. No. What the hell's wrong All with right. you? All right. You hit me with your questions and I'll hit you with mine. Go. Okay. Well, hopefully not in that order. Um, do we know the 
sexuality or identity of any of these characters. When was the first issue of New Mutants released? Nope. I'm not answering the question. <laughs> Are all of these people human mutants? Yes. As, as far okay. as that we know, yes, they're all human mutants. As far as sexuality being released, that I don't know of. I'm pretty sure. I, I want to say they're all straight within their own right. But I could be a little wrong. We already talked about all their powers. Mm -hmm. um, do we know any of their like origin stories of how they discovered their powers? So I know some of them, and then I don't. I kind of feel like since this is a beginning movie, we should probably save that for the movie. Wait a minute. No, the entire point of DFU is that we're not it's saving stuff for the movie. Ready we're for talking. Things, but to actually yeah. show it. Well, the only reason why I'm saying that is because I don't know what kind of dark and gritty thing, and I don't want to take away from the horror aspect of the movie. You know what I'm saying? Guys, what just happened is his commitment to horror affecting people <laughs> just overrode totally his commitment did. to you as viewers. It totally just did. One hundred percent just overrode that. It's hard. We've never done this on a horror movie before. I don't want to take I don't away care. from it. I don't care what kind of movie it is. We were more than you were more than happy to tell people before Endgame came out that you know what? In the comics, Thanos wins. That's a big fucking like nah -uh, nah. -uh. I will take none of your shit. We're gonna go and look up these origin stories and you're gonna give me a small snippet on each of them. Okay. Okay. Yes, mom. Anyways, so Rain was raised as an orphan. Who the fuck is Rain? Wolf Wolfman. Rain is her name. Oh Macy Williams. Okay. Thank you. Was raised by an orphan or was raised as an orphan by an abusive pastor who beat religion into her from a very early age. Oof. When she, see, this would be good for a fucking horror movie. No one's going to be surprised. Anyways, when she was revealed as a mutant, the pastor led an angry mob intending to burn her at the stake. Rain was rescued and later adopted by Maria McTaggart. <clears throat> Not know that is. Later, when she confronts the pastor as an adult, she learned that the pastor was actually her biological father. And that her Ooh. mother had been a prostitute. Oh, oh, oh! She is then recruited by Professor X to become a student at his school for gifted youngsters and join the original New Mutants. <clears throat> wow, that's really interesting. Aren't you glad so, you know that, viewers? So let's 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 go ahead and, and do a bet. When is she going to become a New Mutant, or when is she going to be going into the to, to to the to the little orphanage? Do you think that they're going to move it around in the movie and she goes to that orphanage to learn her powers? Start the, it's not an orphanage, I don't think. I think it's just considered like an asylum, if you will. So when is she going to go into the asylum? Do you think it's going to be she ran away? Or do you think she went back as a kid and killed the pastor? Or she just killed the pastor outright. That's why she's in that, the, 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 the asylum. Hmm. What asylum are you talking about? Well, that's what they're in. In the movie. They're in an asylum in the movie? That's why it's all scary. Like, they're not, like, at Professor X's, like, all oh, nice and happy, and we're going to teach you how to control your powers. No. Oh, they're... Like, they're... In an institute. And being I'm going to guess that she... Okay, then I'm going to guess she's at the institute because she killed the pastor. Okay. And she did it in such a way that it was obvious that she wasn't Ooh, normal what if people walk up and she's just like feasting on him Ooh. i don't think that's going to happen but hey it's a horror film who knows Ooh. i don't i personally don't want to watch wolf Maisie williams eat somebody's face but Maisie williams may have wanted to be a wolf eating someone's face so who knows Ooh. does she eat face <laughs> i don't know hopefully okay I'm asking if that happens in the comics. I don't fucking know. I don't think so. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, they didn't really like just fucking, you know, zone in on something like that. Um, so as far as ma magic is concerned, I don't really know her backstory because the original one was Ileana and that's not the one that we're getting. And I'm not able to find what the movie's where doing, one obviously. Yeah. Ended and the other one began right now. Yeah, so we're gonna skip magic. She'll be, she'll be, she'll be our, 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 our surprise. 
See? There you go. You're getting some tiny piece of horror and all this nonsense. You're not. We're, we're ruining everything right now. Anyways, on to the next. Cannonball. <laughs> Why is this the one that ticks you off? <laughs> Sam Guthrie was born in Cumberland, Kentucky as a young boy. He's so mad. <laughs> he attempted to help out his family by working in the coal mine in which his father had worked before he died. One day, Sam finds himself trapped in a collapsing mine shaft while trying to rescue his fellow worker, Mr. Lewis, from the collapsing mine shaft. His mutant ability unconsciously manifested and saved the two. Sam is soon hired by Donald Pierce of the Hellfire Club to help attack the new mutants. When Ooh. Pierce orders Sam to kill and defeat the new mutants, Sam rebels against him and Charles Xavier asks Sam to join the mu- new mutants, which he does under the alias of Cannonball. So, wait a second. Hang on. I may have just missed something you said. He was hired to fight the new mutants, mm-hmm. and then he joins them? Does he join them as a spy? No, he, I said he was at... Uh, where is that? And Sorry, Charles when you just Xavier read something, asked Sam to join the New Mutants. Okay, I, it's not. I knew what it was. I just wanted to make sure I said it exactly the same way. So I was okay, see where the disconnect is at. No, I don't see it because you just suck. So it's all good. No, it's when you're clearly Boom. reading something, it becomes very monotonous and terrible. About, 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 about that. You're the one that wanted to go down this road. Okay, I tried to say. Yeah, because I thought you were prepared. You know. Look, I, I told you a thousand <laughs> times growing up. I was an Avengers fan, even though my favorite character is Deadpool. When it comes to the Avengers, I got this in the bag. The yeah, the Avengers, I don't even there. know that you had to look up. You just I had didn't. that off the top of your head. I literally didn't. The Avengers, I got in the bag. The others, I'm a tad bit rusty. There's a lot of comics, all right? There's a lot of comics. Just my dad's comic book collection is, like, intimidating. Much less all the comics in the world. So, there's that. But, yeah. So, on to the next Danielle Moonstar. Woo! Tell me about her. Native American. She was born in Boulder, Colorado. As with most mutants, Danny's powers manifested during puberty. One of her Mm -hmm. manifestations is a vision of her parents' death killed by a demonic bear. See? all All this horror movie that we're completely just stealing right now. Shortly afterwards... Her parents disappeared as Danny is taken in by her grandfather, Black Eagle. The Hellfire Club attempt to capture her, and in the melee, her grandfather is killed. He had already contacted Professor X to take care of Danny. Xavier, who been a close friend of Moonstar's father, offers to teach Danny to control uh, t- Danny control over her powers. She then joins the group of students called the New Mutants and shortly afterward becomes the co-leader of the group together with Cannonball. Oh, are they a romantic thing? There, she develops a deep friendship with Wolfsbane. Not Cannonball, Wolfsbane. You seem to be like, I can't see your eyebrows being raised, but I feel like your eyebrows are being is like the we're gonna see lesbian action and i really need to inform you that deep friendship and lesbians are not the same thing i know they're not the same thing but one can okay help, but one can help. okay okay <laughs> hope all you want well considering the fact that uh there's not a picture of the actress that's playing her and i'm gonna take a wild guess that most of these people are are going to look like children. I'm not at all going into that movie with that attempt or, or with, with that thought. So most, good call. Macy Williams looks like a child regardless. So even um, her sex scene in game of Thrones was a tad bit too much for me. I was like, well, there's this, this is happening. So the, the other characters, I know who they are and they have all played full grown adults. They are full grown adults and okay. they look like full grown adults. Wow. So, It'd be better if they were kids, only due to the fact that it's a horror movie. I like putting kids in like horror movie situations. I think that that's 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 something pretty intense. All right, like it, like it. dead funny, dead funny petition that Chris never has children, that's starting fine. today. That's fine. I like putting kids in horror movie situations. Chris, no, <laughs> no, Chris, we well, don't. It do just that. gives you great acting. Like none of the kids saw the clown it until it was their scene to see him. They kept him hidden from the kids the entire time. 
So that was like real fear the first time you saw it. I mean, that's that real fear is not great acting. Real fear is fear. That, that's pretty great like, fucking acting too. Uh, d- no, it's genuine. When you're pulled out of your character because you're so scared, like that's not acting anymore. That's just like you genuinely being freaked out. Hashtag real fear is great acting. Hashtag Kelsey's not my president for 2020. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. We're going to have to agree to disagree. The votes have been casted. You Yo, lost. one vote. Bullshit. You lost. <laughs> nope. It's tie. All right. Let's talk about everybody's favorite new mutant sunspot. Woo. He's yeah. A villain, the son of a wealthy Afro Brazilian businessman, Emmanuel. And his white American mother, archaeologist, Nina. Cool. In New Mutants number seven, his father is described as a very driven man, or man, very driven man who grew up as a barefoot houseboy. By age 20, a millionaire. By 30, wow. an economic and political force to be reckoned with. That's cool. So mm-hmm. rags to riches story for dad. Neat. Emmanuel constantly pushes his son to reach for both his physical and intellectual limits. Thanks his father's, or thanks to his father's encouragement, Roberto rose to the position of a star soccer player at school and was considered by recruiters for the Olympic Games. Cool. When Roberto was playing so- or playing a soccer game with his team, racist members of the opposing soccer team assaulted him. And Roberto Ooh, no. responded by initiating a fight on the field while taking a brutal beating. His mutant powers manifested, suddenly transforming him into a creature of solid black solar energy. Surprised by surprised and terrified, people abandoned the stadium, and only his girlfriend Juliana refused to abandon him. Wow! Points to Juliana. There we go. Okay, so there he was attacked. Go. And he transformed into solid black, black solar, solar energy. energy. Okay. A sight to see. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what solid black solar energy looks like. I'm only getting a black hole, but I don't think that's accurate. I don't either. I don't either. But, you know, hey. So, you mentioned several times uh, the Hellfire Club. I take it that's a group of people that are hunting mutants, using mutants to hunt and kill mutants? Um, I forget what their actual, like, overall arching goal is, but yeah, I mean, that's 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 pretty close to, like, what they're fucking doing. Um, God damn, who was even in the Hellfire Club? Son of a bitch. Um, let's see here. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, no, we've definitely seen some of these people in the fucking movies already. Okay, wow. Even Sunspot apparently was part of the fucking Hellfire Club at some point. Oh, Cannonball okay. was for a short amount of time. Magneto, obviously. Storm. Emma Frost, which has been in one of the Marvel mo- or the X-Men movies already. Yeah, there's Well, then Phoenix. is it really using mutants to hunt and kill mutants, or do they have a different purpose? Uh, created by the Uncanny X-Men. da 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 da, da. Let's see, the name of the Hellfire Club is, in fact, a popular name for the Gentleman's Club. The Hellfire Club is an inner circle that was introduced during the Dark Phoenix Saga, attempting to subvert the X-Men's Jean Grey. This incarnation, composed by the notably, about composed most notably of the Black King Sebastian Shaw and White Queen Emma Frost, would remain... Prominent for many years after their initial confrontations, the Hellfire Club and the X-Men settled into an uneasy alliance. Okay, so it's it's yeah. basically so they're if, just warring factions. Yeah, if within, you would have seen okay. the Dark Phoenix, it's basically what Magneto's group was doing, was trying to take her away from Charles Xavier and help okay. her reach the potential of Dark Phoenix Versus just being Jean Grey and normal Phoenix. Okay. So with the New Mutants, to go back to that subject a little bit. They are the most famous and wealthy and influential members of society as well. Oh, okay. So we've got... We've got a a gentleman's club. 
Isn't Professor X pretty freaking wealthy? He is, but obviously he would never be a part of that. So, because that yeah, basically goes cause... against what he stands for. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's a gentleman's club. Wait a minute. So, but it mentioned women that were in it. Yeah, it's just saying gentleman's club. Like it's there's women. Um, I mean, one of the one of the the founding members and leaders is Emma Frost, the white queen. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, whatever. I think it was just comparing it to something like a gentleman's club. Okay. Initially, the motivation of the New Mutants is survival, learn about your powers, things like that. Do we know what their motivations eventually become? Uh, so, in my opinion, the way that the New Mutants were made was to be a more of a, a student group trying to become an x-men so it was like you, you know your first team that you're with is the new mutants it's kind of in the name so you're the new mm-hmm. mutants into the school this is where you go you learn your powers da, 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 and then from there you kind of figure out where your role is and where you'll become an x-men okay so these kids don't necessarily have day jobs they're just they're kids and they're focused on on doing kid things and mm-hmm. then they have mutant powers on top of that well, okay. I know that you've never seen the movies, and obviously you haven't read the comics, but in, in Marvel's world, mutants are normally, like, hated. Yes, People, deeply despised. Right, that much exactly. I've So they don't really have day jobs because they really can't exist. In normal outside society. Outside of the school, yeah. Okay. Okay, and is there anything special about New Mutants specifically? Do they have a special logo do they have a special car do they have a special thing that they do a chant a song I mean, a high five they're pretty much just an extension of the x-men it's pretty much all okay there. all right then i think i am ready for your quiz sweet uh... he lost the quiz ladies and gentlemen he's trying to pull it up haha i did because i got butt dialed um <laughs> when was the first issue of New Mutants release. September of 1982. Who is the founding member? Cannonball. What subgroup do the New Mutants fit in with? And what I mean by subgroup is a subgroup of Marvel. So Marvel, you have like... Oh, the X-Men? There you go. Okay. Who are the creators of the New Mutants? Chris Claremont and uh, Bob McLeod. I think Who I screwed that up too. are the trainers... Of the New Mutants. That would be Professor X, Cable, and Magneto. Look at you. Fucking bam. Dead Paying on. Paying freaking attention. Dead on. Yeah, yeah. Wait, was that five questions? That was five questions. <laughs> Jeez, all right. Everybody, I did well. I paid attention. She did. She paid attention in class. And you know what, everybody? That will do it for our class on New Mutants, but I need you to actually do something for me. Ooh. And I genuinely mean this. Oh. I need you to go into the comments and I need you to tell me how happy you are that I forced Chris to do something he didn't want to do and tell us the, the origin stories of some of these characters. Please, please, please. Because if you don't, I'm going to hear it later. And you'll be like, you took away from the horror movie and it wasn't nearly as cool. I need you to put in the comments that you're glad that I did this. That way, I will have more power to do it next time he wants to hide horror information from us. Like, the whole reason we come to this class, the whole reason, is to know this stuff heading into the movies, Chris. Or you can, what you can do, what you can do is, is you can wait till you go see the movie. And then whenever you go see the movie and it gets ruined for you, you can then come back and yell in the comments and be like, God damn it, Kelsey. God damn it. I watched a thing where you were going to teach me about it and you taught me about it. Oh, you're the worst. Yes, I am terrible. But if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when to come to class. Please interact with us in the comments. I've already given you this command. Please, please, please come and interact with us in the comments and tell me how happy you are. (laughs) We also have Twitch links and Twitter links below. We'd love if you'd come and interact with us on those. But we will see you in our next class. Bye, friends.